what we're going to do tonight. We're going to uh, summertime. A lot of tourists here. Met a guy here from Fargo, North Dakota. <laughs> what was your name again, sir? John Rubeski. John, what's the last name? Rubeski. John Rubeski. And John is the assistant general manager or general manager? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, John. <laughs> this man uh, operates the NBC affiliate station in Fargo, North Dakota. How many stations are in that market? Four. Four and uh, three uh, networks and one independent. And one PBS. And how do you do in that market, John? Number one. Number one. All right. <laughs> well, you know, John, we're here every night trying to change that. Um, <laughs> uh, and and what, what did you say earlier? Actually, you said you didn't say we're number one. You said something else. Anyway, uh, have you eaten yet tonight, John? No. All right, come on down here. I'm going to buy you dinner. Come here. Come here. John. Nice to see you. Nice. Say hello to the folks there in Fargo. Hi, Fargo. How big a city Hi, is Fargo? KTHI. KTHI is the affiliate? That's right. Uh, and what's the motto there? Oh, let's, all, let's all come home to NBC. Let's all come home to NBC. That yeah, stinks, That's doesn't it? As an affiliate, you're not really happy with that, are you? You'd yeah. like something a little gutsier, wouldn't you? Yeah, let's kick, kick some That's yeah. it. <laughs> um, we're going, uh, we're, uh, we're up here on the uh, eighth floor, and uh, where we are now, we kind of overlook the uh, uh, Rockefeller Plaza where the skating rink is in the winter, but in the summertime, they have a lovely cafe out there. It's the American Festival Cafe. Now, uh, we're going to go out there and get you something to eat. Paul, uh, you, you cover us while we walk. John, was it? John, yeah. Okay, all right. You ready, Paul? You yeah. take care of this. John, you know where we are? Take a look at this. NBC Radio. NBC Radio. Look at that sign. That must be like a $2,000 sign. Yeah, very nice. Name me one NBC Radio program. <laughs> you can't do it, can you? Where is the money going? You know, as soon as GE takes over, NBC Radio will be wiped out. Here's a, an NBC Radio station, WJIB. In, kind of the flagship yeah. of the network. And, uh, oh, look at this, uh, 97 WYNY. -Y. There's another big one. Ooh, look, look what they feature, time checks. <laughs> yes, sir. And more records, actually, than listeners, I believe, according to this survey. It's a joke. But look at all of this opulence. We have desks, mahogany, teak wood, a lovely interior. And does NBC Radio make any money at all? No. <sighs> anyway, come on in. This is the inner office. And uh, how do you do? Nice to see you. What is your name? Barbara Landis, nice to see you. This is John Rubeski. John Rubeski is a general Barbara. manager from Fargo, North Dakota. Thank you. His TV station there kicks. Well, I love this breakfast nook. That's terrific, by the way. Very nice. Why don't I have one of these? NBC Radio making no money. Do what? Okay. Okay, thank you. All right, now here is, um, John, this is the window that I was talking to you about. Carl, if we can come over and uh, show them the view. This is actually very spectacular. This is Midtown Manhattan. And off in the distance, while Carl gets his camera set up, We'll get a look at the uh, City Corp building, and it's kind of uh, bracketed by the spires of St. Patrick's Cathedral there. And we'll swing over and take a look at, uh, there's the Newsweek building. And we come down a little lower, we'll see uh, Saks Fifth Avenue. And uh, there's another magazine building over there. In the distance, I think you can see the TV Shopper building. And then right down there is the... Uh, that's the restaurant. That's the American Festival Cafe. That's normally, in the wintertime, the ice rink here in the Midtown. And, in fact, even now, the Zamboni go through there a couple of times a night. <laughs> Gosh, can you imagine that? <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Okay. All right, so, John, what we're going to do, we're going to get you something to eat. See, there's a line of tables right by the fountain there. Uh, there they are. Let's take a look at those folks. There's a party of four. And, uh, uh oh some kind of an argument. Well, I'm not going home with you. I don't care if I have to walk. Okay, all right, let's move on. Oh, there's a nice uh, threesome. Oh yeah, there's no tip there. <laughs> you know, no wonder the table's empty. There is no tip. I kind of like that. Let's, let's see who else we have. And there's a party of one. Now oh, that may be a sad story. First, John, you're kind of a sad story when it gets right down to it. And then, uh, how about the bald guy? Oh, is there, a, yeah, that guy right there. Hmm, no, maybe a Libyan. Okay, let's keep moving here. Uh, what do you think? Let's go back to the three ladies there, the second table. Now, I have the uh, phone number of the restaurant, and I'm calling and see if I can't get the uh, Mater D over there to pick it up and take the uh, telephone to their table, and we'll be able to talk to them. 
They're going to love this, aren't they? Okay, here we go, John. By the way, here's a menu, John. Take a look at that and see if there's anything on there you might like to have. Okay, so we ought to be able to... Are we going to be able to hear the, uh, the Mater D? Yeah. It's not ringing. We have two minutes left. Uh, this will pick up speed any second here. Good evening, I'm Malcolm Festival Cafe. May Hi. I help you? Yes, sir, my name is Dave Letterman. Uh, you're on the air right now. Do you mind talking with us? What's your name? <laughs> Hi, David, how are you? Uh, can you take that phone uh, over to one of these tables for me by the uh, fountain? Yeah. It's the second one from the north end, right by the fountain. All it's right. It's three women. How long have you worked for this restaurant? Uh, about three, three and a half months now. Okay, can you turn, look up here at this building and wave, David? There you go. <laughs> Yeah. This is no uh, waiter. You're an actor, aren't you? You're no waiter. Are you really a waiter? Uh, no. Uh, well, I'm a waiter, but I also model for some uh, agencies uh, in the city. I'm sure you do. Fine. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, do yourself a favor. Stay out of Fargo. All right. Now, <laughs> now let's move down there, David. If you can take the uh, phone to that table of... It's way down toward the other end, the north end of the fountain. He's lost. Yeah, that way. No, David. Oh. No, back, behind you. There you go. You're getting warmer. <laughs> Follow the breadcrumbs, David. Okay, to my right, right? No, now you take a right. That's right. All right. Okay, we've got you on radar, Dave. Okay, keep moving. There he goes. Boy, this is nearly as tedious as we had hoped. Okay, strangling patrons with the cord. Okay, you're almost there, Dave. There, that's it, right there. Put the, put the phone right down, if you will. Thank you very much, David. Hand it to the woman there in the uh, green dress. Okay. Okay. Get the telephone call for you, ma'am. <laughs> Hello, uh, ma'am. My name is David Letterman. Do you mind if I talk with you on the air here? I'm calling from NBC. I'm, I'm right here at this building. I can see you right down there. What is your name? Miriam Goodisblatt. Mi Miriam, what? What is the last name? Goodisblatt. Goodisblatt? Right. Spell that for me, Miriam. G U D E S B L A T T. Goodisblatt. Right. And uh, where are you from, Miriam? I'm from New Hyde Park. Uh huh. And where is that That's exactly? Long Island. Long Island. And you're in town today doing what? We went to see a show. What, what did you see? We went to see uh, Song and Dance with Bernadette Peters. How was it? It was very good. You enjoyed it, really? Right. Would you see it again? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, good idea. All right, now listen, uh, Miriam, what we need, uh, why don't you introduce the folks at the table there? Uh, I don't hear you. Can you introduce the people at the table? I can't hear you. The water is... Introduce the people at the table! Oh, yes, definitely. My daughter. <laughs> Did you hear that, Cassin. Miriam? Huh? My daughter. Uh-huh. Sandy Casson. Uh-huh. Hi, Sandy. How are you? Her mother-in-law, uh, Evelyn Cass. Evelyn, nice to see you. Uh, all right, Miriam, we, we have a, a gentleman visiting us from Fargo, North Dakota, and he would like something to eat tonight. So if you can get the waiter over there, we'd like you to order something for us. By the way, I'm going to buy, are you having dinner? <laughs> no, we were just having drinks. Oh, well, I'll be happy to pay for those drinks, all right? Okay. Put them on somebody else's Bye now. Uh, okay, Miriam, get the, get the menu from the guy there. Mir okay. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. <sighs> it's like a movie of the week. Do you see anything, John, that you like on the menu? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, she, did she hang up? Hey! 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 She hung up? Whoa. Miriam, hold it! Hey! Oh, no, no. What are we doing? How are we doing on time? A minute and a half over. What, what should I do? Call David back, or what do we do? Somebody tell me what to do here. What's the number? Oh, okay, okay, pick up the... David, uh, Mi Miriam, you hung up on me. I don't hear you. Uh, you. Can you hear me now? Right. Okay, you hung up. Oh, uh, I thought that he was going to bring it to someone else. No, 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 we want you to order something off the menu. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay, do you have a menu there? No. <laughs> he wants me to order something off the menu. I'm just going to jump, that's all. I'm just <laughs> going to jump. Just I'll be right down, Miriam! Okay. Okay. Uh, there's a poison gas leak! <laughs> okay, Miriam, you have the... Okay, pick something, quick. Okay, fine, we can see you now. Okay. All right, great. Okay, now I can you... Lie. Yeah, I, I see. Okay, order something, Miriam. I will. Okay, anything. Okay, can I give him the phone now? Yeah, no, no, you tell him what... I'll oh. tell him what I want. What do you want, we, John? We have really have just finished. 
Iron Horse but he wants his water. with a hamburger. What do you want to drink? The Iron Horse what? Oh, he wants a bottle of wine. He wants a bottle of Sauvignon Blanc, Iron Horse, and he wants a hamburger. Oh, God. Are we still on the air? No. Okay, Miriam, he wants a hamburger and a bottle of wine. Hamburger and a bottle of wine. Yeah, okay. Did he get it? No, of course not. Well, no, tell him. You tell him. Tell him? The, the waiter, Miriam. A hamburger You've been in restaurants before. You know what to do, Miriam. I know what to do. All right, order the... We'll, we'll just take the wine. No. Oh. All right. Will it be all right? Okay. All right, no, he wants a hamburger. We just finished the... Uh... Drink. Okay, fine. Whatever. You, you're right. Let me. I'll just buy you a car. Let me make it up to you somehow. <laughs> I'll buy you a car, Miriam. Do, let me. Uh, let me do I'll one more. For that. Do, do me one more favor, Miriam, and then we'll let you go. What's that? Can you get into the fountain there? Just, <laughs> just sit on the edge and put your feet in the fountain. Come on, try it, Miriam. What's that? Get into the fountain. Just, just put your feet in there. Look at the fountain. No, get into it. Put your feet in there. It's very hard to hear you. Put. Get into the fountain. Get into the fountain. I'll get it if you will. Oh, these telephones are great. I don't believe I'll get one until they work the bugs out of them, but I think they're the coming thing. Can you hear me now, Miriam? I can hear you Okay, now. get into the fountain. Just put your I'm feet... I'm not getting into the fountain. All right, though. ask your daughter. Ask your daughter if she'll get into the fountain. Uh, just a moment. Okay. Right. Oh, brother. Okay. Come on, just... What do you think, Miriam? No, she doesn't want to either. How about she... the waiter? This she guy looks like he'll do well. anything. Let me talk to Dave. Okay. Thanks, Miriam. Have All a nice right. trip back to Long Island. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Okay. Now, Dave, is everything in slow motion or yes. is it me? It must be the ozone or the bus fumes or something. Dave, yes. do me a favor. Get into the fountain. Get into it? Come on, get in. If, if you get fired, I'll get you a job, honest. Just stand in the fountain. <laughs> Come on over and just stand in there. Come on. All right. Now, put, put, put the phone down, for God's sakes. All right, now just get in. Come on. Yeah! This maniac. <laughs> All right. Okay. Just wash up and go on home, Dave. I have a feeling you're through. Okay, we'll, we'll be right back. John, I hope you get the burger. Good luck to you. Is the guy, John, come on down. Mr. General Manager from uh, KDKA or whatever the hell that was there. And come on down, John. Is the guy here? Where is he? Here's uh, the waiter. Bring in the waiter. David, nice job. Thank you very much. Here's, this is the man that ordered the, uh, the hamburger. This is John Herbeski from North Dakota. Listen, listen. You know, uh, you didn't really have to get in, into the uh, fountain there. I thought that was very brave on your part. Are you going to get in trouble for that? No. Now, listen, no. if there's any problem, you remember what I said about me giving you a job. If there's any trouble, you know, take it somewhere else. <laughs> Here you go. There, that's for you. That's for you. There you go. And uh, there's your burger. Okay. And, and oh, good luck to you. Oh, you can go ahead and bust it open. I'm doing no catch It's not like we're on television or anything. <laughs> Uh, how, how are we doing? Are we done? Okay, Jeff, thank you very much for being on the show. Also, my thanks to Catherine O'Hara and everybody who helped us out with Stupid Petrix tonight. Now, tomorrow, it'll be Robert Klein, George Clinton. Oh, and that mannequin demo, by the way. Can you stay over for that, John? Sure. Uh, that's uh, Carrie Kirk. Have a nice night, folks. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.